what's going on guys my name is Lane today we're doing a realistic rebuild of the New England Patriots and it's kind of weird when you look at all the mock drafts we know Brady's gone but most people aren't taking a quarterback in the first round if they do it's Jordan Love and I'm not really convinced on that so we are going to go a different way in the draft I put in all the wins and losses we're going to start Jared Stidham if we don't get a quarterback in like round four or five but I doubt I'm going to do that we are at the draft, so let's hop in. Now, I see Patrick Queen on a lot of mock drafts, so that's what we're going to do right now in the first round. He's a 72 overall, hidden development, 81 tackle, 83 hit power, 89 speed, 88 acceleration. Now, Stephon Gilmore is getting up there in age, so I think in the third round, we're going to go with Reggie Robinson. He's a 70 overall, hidden development. I like that a lot. He's a 90 speed, 70 man, 66 zone, 67 play rec. In the fourth round, we're going to take strong safety, Kevon Wallace. He's a 69 overall, normal development, 88 speed, 67 zone, 72 tackle, 77 pursuit. Now, I should mention that I had to lower Julian Edelman's age to 31 years old because I tried this two times before he retired both times. So we'll make him retire after next year. We have Stidham starting at quarterback. The offensive line's looking good. I also had to sign Tooney to three years because I tried to sign Devin McCourty to his contract in real life. He turned that down. So we're just going to have to deal with that. But I'm loving the way the team's looking. It's kind of a shame Robinson's all the way down here, but we'll be fine with that. Gilmore is getting up there in age. McCourty's all the way up there in age with his brother, so we're going to have to see how that plays out. Let's go to the midseason mark. Wow, the Dolphins don't have a win, but we're right behind them at 2-6, and six, so we'll keep that in mind. Should have a top 10 pick. Hopefully. I do want to bring back Devin McCourty for one more year. Probably won't be able to happen right here, I assume. Okay, maybe. Let's offer him the one-year deal. Wow, okay, so he takes that, but I offered him a huge two-year contract just so he would come back. I'm going to bring back David Andrews. Jason McCourty, we're going to wait and see on that. JC Jackson's coming back. James White, I might let him walk out the door, but we'll wait to the offseason for that. And I don't really want anybody else that's down here. We didn't make the playoffs. We went 6-10, and 10, which is not that bad compared to the Bills 8-8 eight and, eight and the Jets 6-9-1. and one. The Dolphins all the way at the bottom at 4-11-1. and one. Let's see how Stidham did. About 4,000 yards, 25 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. I mean, I like the yards, the touchdown interception ratio, not all that great. White about 800 yards, 7 touchdowns. Edelman, 994, 6 touchdowns, 1 for Sanu. I'm so glad he's going to be gone. 4 for Lacoste, 3 for Bird, 5 for White, 6 for Izzo. We need a tight end bad. Hightower, 133 tackles. I might bring him back. We'll wait and see. Five sacks for Lawrence Guy, four for Winovich, which I love. Interceptions, one for Hightower, one for Queen, Gilmore, McCourty, and McCourty. Where is Robinson? He probably didn't do anything, nothing. What about Queen? I know he had an interception, but what else? He had 43 tackles and half a sack. I mean, that's not all that great. Let's be honest. MVP, Lamar Jackson, Cam Newton on the Broncos. Uh-oh. Beast man, if you're watching this, I, I know you don't want that. You like Drew Luck, so we'll have to wait and see. Andrew Luck still kicking. I can't wait for Madden 21 when he's just out of this game. Rivers at number 10. Coach of the year, Doug Peterson. We're not going to be up there. Offensive player of the year, Cam Newton. Stidham not up there. Defensive player of the year, Jay and Brown. We have Hightower at number 9. That's good. Offensive rookie, Joe Burrow. Tour for the Dolphins, number 2. They got Akers, Mims to the Chargers. Imagine Keenan Allen. And Mims, that'd be awesome. And Mike Williams. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have Patrick Queen at 6, and that's going to be it. Let's see what we have for XP. Stidham with 2, that's not all that great. Nothing really else on offense. What about on defense? Queen has 3 star development. Robinson, superstar with 3. All right. I like seeing that. Look how much a quarterback matters in Madden 20. Andrew Luck with the Giants beat Cam Newton with the Broncos, and we know that's not going to happen next year. That's so aggravating. Now, Hightower is down from an 84 to an 81, so he's going to be out the door. Andrews, I think I'm going to let him walk away as well. McCourty's gone. James White gone. Yeah, I don't want to bring anybody else back. Maybe Lacoste if he's cheap enough at a 70 overall. Oh, yeah, 2 1.6. I'll bring him back. But I'm just going to let a lot of people. Really? You're going to big time me. All right, I guess we'll go to free agency. We have $76 million, and Jalen Ramsey's just sitting there. We're not going to do that, obviously. We don't even need a corner. We don't need a left tackle. I love Joe Mixon. Sony Michelle is going to be a free agent. 
probably after next year, I would assume. I think I'm going to make a play at Joe Mixon. Let's go 5, 5.4. What is that? 90 total points. Perfect. Godwin's up there. Edelman will be gone after the year. I'm not really sold on to kill Harry. They don't have anything else. I'll go Chris Godwin. Why not? We need a receiver. Another 90 points. Not really sure why he doesn't have any offers. Lattimore's way down there. Keanu Neal. Chung's up to superstar, but I don't think so. Like, I'm not going to bring in Watkins. That doesn't make sense. We do need a kicker. Let's bring in Rosas. Rosas? I think it's Rosas. I don't know how to say it exactly. Okay, I'm going to look around a little bit more, and I'll show you if I got anybody else. We got Joe Mixon, the kicker, and Chris Godwin. Perfect. Let's go to the draft. We have the seventh overall draft pick. The Steelers with the first overall pick. A lot of people in my Steelers rebuild are like, oh, the Steelers are going to be so good next year. No, they're not. Get out of here. They're, they're like with the Browns, with the Ste uh, the Ravens, rather. Even the Bengals, I think, might be better. I know that might be blasphemy, but that's just my opinion. I'll stick by it. Left end from the Seattle Seahawks off the board. We could trade back to next year if we can't find anything, but there's no one and ones We could trade back just second round, like get a bunch of draft picks, I guess are the words I'm looking for, but let's see what we have here. Outside linebackers, receivers, a center, which we definitely need. Running back, no. Let's go to scouted. A few tight ends, which we do need, but I don't know how necessary that is at the moment. So we have the seventh overall draft choice, and look at this center, Derek Copeland. He looks really good. Andrews is out the door. I mean, we could go with a tight end up here, an outside linebacker I'm not dying to get right now. So I'm going to go with Copeland, and he's a scheme fit. 76 overall, hidden development. 84 strength, 85 run block, 79 pass block. So we have some options. I really like this quarterback, Ainsworth. Says late first round talent. I know we have Stidham. Early second round. I also love this end right here, Leach. Late first round. I think we have Stidham. I'm just going to stick with them. We're going to take the right end, Leach. He's a 71 overall, normal development. 76 power moves, 63 finesse, 80 speed, 83 acceleration. In the third round, we're taking middle linebacker Devin Bass. He's a 70 overall, normal development, 78 speed, 83 acceleration, 73 block shed, 82 hit power. In the fourth round, we're taking a tight end, Paris Orchard. He's a 68 overall, normal development, 84 speed, 73 catching, 60 run block, 66 awareness. So the offense basically looks the same, except Copeland's our center now. We have Joe Mixon and Godwin. That's fine. But the defense is looking rough. We're going to have to have some players step up like Queen, Winovich. Chung's going down and overall. I did try to put him on the trade block as well. Nobody wants him. But we still have Robinson right here. I almost want to trade away Jonathan Jones, but he's 27, so I don't think so. So I traded Stephon Gilmore a second round pick and a fifth round pick to the Jaguars for their first overall pick or first round pick rather. At the midseason mark, we're in last place at two and six. That is not great. Jets two and five. The Dolphins though in first at six and one. Now I don't know about Devin McCourty. I might just let him walk out the door. Edelman, we're going to make him retire. So did Michelle. Goodbye. Isaiah Wake could come back. Bentley, why not? Patrick Chung, goodbye. Butler, maybe. A lot of turnover. Myers I'd like to bring back as well. And Izzo. There was no chance we were going to make it. We went 5-11. That's a lot better than I thought we were going to do. The Dolphins 12-4 though. They could win the Super Bowl potentially. Stidham. 3,800 yards. 24 touchdowns. 8 interceptions. I'll take that. Mixon 955. 7 touchdowns. Michelle with 2. Receiving Godwin. 87 catches. 1,200 yards. 10 touchdowns. Izzo 889. 3 touchdowns. I feel like I have to bring him back now. Myers 5-12 with two. Mixon four touchdowns. Edelman with two. Not all that great. On defense, Benley 132 tackles. Sack totals. Seven half for Leach, the rookie. Perfect. Five for Winovich. Interceptions. Three for Phillips. Two for Bentley. Two for Jones. Queen with one. Robinson with one. 75 tackles. Wow. Let's go take a look, uh, look at the early awards. Jax with the MVP. No Patriots. The Red Dragons. Coach of the year, Jason Garrett. We're not going to be up there. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Maybe Stidham? No. Basically, everybody else, though. Defensive Player of the Year. Bentley at four, which is good. Offensive Rookie. We have Bourne at seven. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Leach at number one. Great. Madrano at six. Bass at seven. All right, that's good. I'm excited to see what Copeland, our center's development, is going to be, though. 
Who Superstar Development 5 XP. Stidham has four as well, which is pretty good. Let's see that defense. Leech has five, which is awesome. Bass with three. Queen with two. Where is Robinson? He has four. Still the Superstar Development. But we're going to need safeties. We need another end. I think that's about it, though. Maybe another corner, but we're not going to have to worry about that too much. But on offense, we need a receiver, right tackle, and a tight end. Basically, I think I'm going to stick with Stidham. The Broncos beat the Bears 38-28. to Just because they got Cam Newton? Like, really? I don't think they're all that great. Ryan Izzo, I still want to bring back. I'll give you three years, $2 million, $8.50 for a signing bonus. So you're going to take that. Thank you. Flanagan King, no. Ah, Devin McCourty for one more year would not be bad. I really think it depends on what he wants for money. If he'll take one 2.1, I'll definitely bring him back. Okay, you want to go to free agency, so long. Also, the Jaguars went 9-7, and seven, didn't make the playoffs, so we're picking the teams from them. That's all right. $73 million. We're going to fill up some holes, definitely. Stephon Diggs. Whoo, back to the Vikings. That's not going to happen. We all know that. We're fine at corner. J.J. Watt, but it's going to cost way too much money. Van Der Esch, Miller, we don't need that. Hooper's up there. I don't think so. Is there really anything I want? Ooh, Braden Smith. Put him right at tackle. 98 points for the Jaguars. Let's beat them up. Why not? Let's go four years, seven million, four point zero two for the signing bonus. Goes up to 114. We have the money, so that's why I'm gonna spend it. I mean, Mike Williams at 27 years old, four years, why not? 93 points. I know he has no offers, but I just want to make sure we get him on our team. Godard is there. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to spend big this offseason. 90 points dominates the Bills. Melvin Gordon's up there. We're not going to do that. Balaga. Judon's up there, but I don't think so. Ooh, Hand would be a good pick. He's not a scheme fit, though, which has me a little concerned. McCourty, come on back, buddy. I know you didn't like this offer the first time, but now apparently you're in love with it for some reason. Brockers, Clinton Dix. I almost want to make a play at J.J. Watt, but I think Hand might be the play. I'll offer him a little bit more money. We'll go up to four years as well. We'll go up to 3.3 for the signing bonus. 101. Good. Beats out the Eagles, so we might turn that down. We got Smith, McCourty, Williams, Hand, and Godard. Perfect. Let's go to the draft. Oh, we have the second overall draft pick. Let's skip ahead one, obviously. The Raiders take a strong safety. Now, since we have the 18th pick, I have to look at the trade offers. We can trade back till 10. Trade back, 22-17, not really interested. 14, I'm going to take the Rams offer. We're looking for safeties. I think this free agency opens up some like plays that we can make right there, so we still have another pick next year. Let's see what the Rams desperately wanted to get. Oh, that free safety. I guess we should have looked at it, to be fair. But I think we'll be able to find what we need. Plus, with another pick next year, I don't think that's a bad trade. We don't... Like, if you don't need a quarterback or you're not dying to get one of the players, just trade back, in my opinion. Now, there are a few quarterbacks here. I don't think that's the way we're going to go. Mid-first round in Burris. Guards, tackles galore, a left end. I feel like quarterback free safety is probably the way to go. And we can get a free safety next round as well. So I guess we'll go free safety with this pick right here. Earl Burris. He's a 74 overall hidden development. 89 speed, 66 zone and tackle, 74 pursuit. Now I feel like we have to go with William Sanders, right? It says late first round, but I'm not too concerned about that. So let's add Sanders to our team. We don't have a second round pick, so we can't wait on this. 73 overall hidden development. 90 throw power, 74 deep back, 78 medium, 82 short. Perfect. Look at the strong safety in the third round. Andrew Woods, add him to the team. 69 overall, normal development. Thought he was going to be way better than that. 89 speed, 62 zone, 59 tackle, 70 pursuit. With our other third round pick, we're taking this left end, Matt Keys, who doesn't have a combine report. He's a 70 overall, normal development. 64 power moves, 74 finesse, 81 speed, 85 acceleration. So we have an 80 overall team, 85 offense, but 76 defense, which I don't really understand. I love the way this offense looks. I'm very excited to see how Sanders does. And on defense, we have Burrs playing at strong safety. 
And I think we're looking pretty good. Leech up the start of element. I mean, really, where are the weak points? Middle linebacker too? Not really. I love our corners. Superstar JC Jackson, superstar Robinson. Jonathan Jones is a solid corner. I'm very excited to see how we perform this year. How? At the midseason mark, we're tied with the Bills at 2-5-1. I don't really understand that. Joe Tooney's going to be a free agent. He's at 29 years old. I don't think so. Jonathan Jones, I'd like to bring back our kicker, Winovich, definitely. Nikhil Harry, I feel like I have to at this point, unless it's a ton of money. Juwan Williams, I feel like he performed way better than that. I really don't know what to do about Joe Tooney. We'll see. We didn't make the playoffs. We knew that was happening. 5-10-1, though. Come on. And who do we trade with? The Rams, I believe it was. Oh, this is good. Okay, so we're probably going to have back-to-back -back draft picks, which is awesome. We should be able to build up this team. But we went 5-10-1. And, and the division's really not that great. Sanders, 4,000 yards, 25 touchdowns, 20 interceptions. I don't love that. Mix it about 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. Awesome. Godwin, 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Gordon, 830 with 5. Harry, five touchdowns, 708. Four for Williams, five for Mixon. On defense, Bentley, 113 tackles. Sack total, six for Hand. Good, good, good. Four and a half for Leach, three and a half for Queen. Interceptions, three for Jackson, two for McCordy and Wallace, one for Burrs, one for Leslie. Could we get offensive and defensive rookie of the year? MVP to Sean Watson. No way he's on the Texans in a few years. There's just no way. No Patriots. Coach of the year, Freddie Kitchens. Okay. Offensive player of the year. Nothing. Defensive player of the year. Nothing. Offensive rookie Sanders. We knew that was going to happen. Defensive rookie Burris. There we go. Nobody else, but I mean, I'll take that. I'm not going to complain too, too much. So let's go see what Sanders' development's going to be. Burris's development's going to be. Sanders, you better be superstar. Yes, with 6 XP. Copeland has two. Tooney, I didn't resign quite yet, but maybe we'll give him a short contract. So we have one year left, and we're looking good. Burris has four star development, which is all right. Leach with two. What about Queen? 279. Bass will be a 74. Robinson, 78. It's only because he's the number three corner. I understand that, but it was hard to pass up on him. The Giants with Andrew Luck beat the Texans 35-24. to Highly doubt it. Joe Tooney is the only guy we have left. He's 30 years old. That's what I don't like. I feel like with two first-round draft picks, we can find somebody in the draft. Yeah, we'll just let him walk out the door. I'm not too concerned about it. We got a few good more years out of him. He's 30 years old. That's kind of when you want to move on from an offensive line because he's still going to get overpaid, in my opinion. But 28.98. Joe Tooney's still up there. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. A lot of offensive linemen and running backs, receivers. Taylor wraps up there. 82 points for the Lions. Put him at strong safety. Put Burris over to free safety. That might be the move. Let's see what that gets us. 109. That's way over the Lions, but that's all right. Hunter Renfro's up there. 90 points from the Falcons. Let's go five. Let's go 2.71. 105. So we should get both of them. I'm trying to think, what else do we need? I'll bring in like a Greedy Williams as the number four guy. For cheap money. That'll be fine. But I don't really see anything else. Ooh, Lindstrom's down there. Interesting. I want to see what this does for us. 96 beats the Bengals. If we can get them, good. If not, it's not the end of the world. Let's advance the week. We got Rap, Renfro, Williams, and Lindstrom. Perfect. Let's go to the draft. So we have the sixth and seventh pick. That's awesome. The Raiders have the first overall pick again. So we're looking for a guard. We're looking for a defensive tackle, maybe. Let's go to scouted. I mean, receiver and tight end, we don't really need it, even though they look like beasts. Corners, free safeties, we don't need that. Left tackle, we could put over to guard if we wanted to. A bunch of great running backs. I'm really not sure where to go with this. Middle linebacker. Where's Burr's mid first? Ooh, he looks really good. I know we have Bentley. Do we go Brandon Burr? That seems kind of foolish. But there's really no guards, is there? Late second. We have our second round pick, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Right guard. There's nothing. Right tackle. 
Center, we could draft one and put him over there. We could take Vernon and put him over there if we wanted to, but I don't think so. I think we're going to go one of these receivers, which we don't need, which is kind of a shame. We don't need a free safety. It's like uh, We're just at a point where we have most of our positions filled. When at that point, do you draft for need? Probably. I think I'm definitely going to go with Burr. Brandon Burr. Let's take him. He's a 75 overall hidden development. 88 speed, 76 tackles, 75 block shed, 73 hip power. So that's fine. I have to look, just go look at the guard, see if there's anything I could take, like, later on. Oh, there's a few left tackles we could throw over there. Nothing for left guard. Center, not really. Right guard, nothing. So I guess the answer is Forrest Vernon. We'll put him over at guard. We're going to have to. He's a 79 overall normal development. 92 strength, 78 run block, 77 pass block. Look at this free safety in the second round. Forrest Chamberlain. Looks really good. Lofton looks really good, but we could probably wait on that if we wanted to. I'm not really seeing much that I'm dying to take unless, okay, I might stand corrected. Benjamin Warner, which we don't need. But when there's an early first round talent in the second round, I'm going to take him every time. 78 overall, hidden development. 72 power move, 84 finesse, 82 speed, 87 acceleration. In the third round, I'm taking another middle linebacker, Todd Buckley. He's a 69 overall. Norman Velvet says it's a good pick. 83 speed, 79 tackles, 66 block shed, 76 hip power. So we have an 84 overall team, 88 offense, 80 defense. The offense looks so, so good. Nothing should go wrong. I'm sure it will. But let's look at the defense. So many good players that we drafted with Burris, Queen. Burr is going to be a good player. Leach, Warner, the backup. What else do we got? Oh, Robinson down here. I mean, I know it says we have an 80 overall defense, but I feel like it should be a little bit higher than that. I suppose not. A lot of guys hovering around 80, but we're going to have some big name players here. Let's go to the playoffs. We didn't make the playoffs yet again. It came in last place again at 6 and 10. What could I have done better? I don't really understand. Sanders, 4,200 yards, 33 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Awesome. Mixing 1,000 yards, 14 touchdowns. Can't really ask for much more there. Renfro, 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns. Godwin, 959 with 9. Williams, 645, or 675, rather, 5 touchdowns. Goder, 4 touchdowns, 2 for mix in. On defense, Queen, 107 tackles. Burr, the rookie, at 103. Sack total, 6.5 for Leach, 5.5 for Winovich, 3 for Burr, the rookie. Werner has 2.5 as well. Interceptions, 3 for Jones, 2 for Jackson. A few ones to go around. I don't really know where we went wrong. MVP, Andrew Luck. Maybe that's it, even though it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Coach the year, Matt Hedrick. Offensive player, William Sanders. Didn't make the playoffs, though. Doesn't make sense. Defensive player of the year, nothing. Offensive rookie, nothing. Defensive rookie of the year, Brandon Byrne, number one. Warner at five. All right, let's go look at our team. So Sanders got three more XP. The offensive line has a good amount. What about on defense? Warner has superstar X Factor, Burr with star. What about that tackle we took? Where is he? Vernon right here has two? So we're ready to turn over at any point, probably with Shaq Mason. This is a shame. So, so disappointed. Robinson's up to an 80. Greedy Williams is up to an 80. I just don't really understand it. I feel like this team has so many good players. We have superstar X Factor players. We have everything you would want in a team. I guess we probably got the quarterback a little bit too late if I had to guess. If you made me guess, that would be my guess. But I don't know if that's a good like excuse, reason. 85, 88 offense, 83 defense. Let's take one more look. Because we did what? We drafted Vernon, who's an 81. Culp at 85. We signed Smith. We signed Lindstrom. Signed Goder, Williams, Godwin, Renfro, Mixon. We drafted Sanders, who's an 86. But on defense, there's so many players I drafted. Leach, 83. Warner, 82. We signed Hand. We drafted Robinson, who's an 80. Signed Rap. We have Burr, who's an 80. Queens, at 82. Burr's is an 82. I, it's just really disappointing. We signed Greedy Williams. But that's going to be it for this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Come on back for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.